It is the BioPark's best kept secret, but now the city is looking at some big, possibly pricey ideas to change that. News 13's Chris McKee talked to the city about their concept. He is live tonight at the Botanic Garden. Chris? Yeah, Dean, the Heritage Farm is actually a historic farm that is on the back of the Botanic Garden property. Now the city is looking at ways to get more people to it. Well, you can probably hear these farm animals from a distance away at the biopark. <laughs> Finding where the Heritage Farm sits in the Botanic Garden isn't the easiest task. Did you know that this was actually here? No, I didn't. The Heritage Farm might be one of those hidden gems of the biopark. But that gem is something the city is now hoping to polish up and get more people to in the near future. We have the acreage to expand and make this even more of a focal point for the biopark. Cultural Services Associate Director Brandon Gibson is talking about the city's newly released vision to fix up and add more to the Heritage Farm. We do so much amazing agricultural work here and it's just Amazing to have right off Route 66. The farm today is a historic open property with farm animals, loads of different growing fruit and vegetable plants, an apple orchard, even a cider press that's being used this fall. This is just a great educational hub. The city's new conceptual plan shows ideas for adding a new walking path through ponds, a first ever play area for kids, even a massive event barn similar to these pictures that could host hundreds of people for events like wedding receptions. Just continue to grow this great uh, program we have out here. The city now has a bid out for architects to design the project, concepts that have some people excited. I think it would make it even more neat of like the whole combination of everything. Now, the city has set a date of November 1st. That's when they want a bunch of architecture firms to submit bids for that architectural part of this project. After that, they'll likely select one company to design the project and figure out exactly what will be added to the farm and exactly how much that could cost. Back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. The city is looking to pay for that project with funds raised by the Biopark Gross Receipts Tax, which voters approved in 2015.